All right, let's take a look at the um, setup that I got going here. Um, what we got is two systems, uh, the A rig and the B rig. This is the A rig over there, and this is the B rig here. They're not fully set up yet, but we're getting there. Um, let's take a look at what we got. We'll start with the racks. Um, Duro's meters. Uh, this should be on left and right. These will be on PFL um, left and right. Uh, PCM 60, uh, my favorite reverb unit, real simple to access, the different things, nice hard crunchy sound. Um, H3500 has been giving us some problems, we'll probably swap it out with another one, but that will go here, that's where I do the rest of my effects with, I'll do the delays and some flanger and uh, phasing effects, um, and I just punch them in and out, I just use those two effects and assign and unassign, that way I've I never have more than two effects going at any point during the Chili Peppers show. Um, vocal compressors. These are on the subgroups. Vocal left, vocal right. Um, guitar left and right. Subgroups. Bass left and right. Kick snare left and right. Toms left and right. Round things made out of metal left and right. Um, piano and keyboards left and right and then four individual um, channel compressors um, I believe we've got two vocal mics on Josh this is on his second vocal mic over by the drum kit uh, let's see if I can get some stuff fired up here they stop yeah they stop playing and this is on one of the bass lines this is um, I don't know where that is I'll have to re figure it out Still get, oh, this is on Anthony's vocal. This is on Josh's main vocal. And this, I believe, is on the synthesizer, and that's a spare at this point. Um, this dual compressor, I think, is also spare. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm still figuring some of this out. Over here, we've got an analyzer. My main PA left EQ and right EQ. And I use this during the show to... Um, do quick changes like if I need to hack out a certain frequency very quickly um, I'll use this graph and then I use this one it's not set up yet these are all bypassed to EQ the PA itself and um, make whatever system I'm working with sound how I want it to sound subwoofer left subwoofer right subwoofer compressor left sub compressor right and I carry my own sub compressor so I got um, gain more control over it uh, subharmonic synthesizer. Um, I use that as some trailing effects. And here's my gates. Stereo gate for kick. Stereo gate for snare. Uh, rack, rack, rack floor, floor. Uh, snare two. And roto tom, timbale, and um, some other. Oh, kettle drum. Okay, that's the rack end of things. Consoles, let's take a look at that. Uh, kick left and right. I pan my two kick mics hard left and right. Snare left and right. Snare top and bottom, pan. Octobonds, tom, tom, rack floor, floor, ride, overhead. Overhead is in a stereo module that I've put in here. Roto, snare two, kettle. Um, bass clean, which I don't use. Bass dirty DI and bass mic, panned left and right. And then various guitar, 57, Royer, 122, D3, an emulator. Flea, Anthony, Josh. Josh is on the stereo channel um, for both of his vocals, the vocorder. Synthesizer, uh, some effects, the piano, PCM60, 3500. All right, that's the B rig. Let's go look at the A rig. This is all pretty much the same. Uh, concepts but here uh, we've got a better analyzer it's a little beat up but uh, and my main PA graphs I've built these faders uh, connecting things on my printer and um, makes it a little easier to keep left and right balanced I'll make some more of those before tour starts uh, main house EQ left house EQ right sub EQ left sub EQ right same as the other rack uh, this unit here is on my PFL bus and it um, this is cool because it lets me look at the left the right or the su stereo sum and difference move this mic out of the way 
stereo some indifference um, so some indifference so I can check to make sure that um, two mics are in polarity out of polarity and uh, very useful same PCM 60 H3500 instead of the drummer 1960 I'm using a Fatso Junior um, for the main rig not sure which I like better yet I'm still um, up in the air on that I've used the 1960 for many years the Fatso is a new one for me so we'll decide and then so this is vocals subgroups left and right guitar bass kick snare toms round things made out of metal piano and keyboards and um, my individual channel compression for the bass Josh's second vocal Anthony um, channel compression Josh channel compression for his main one this is my main PA left and right on the big meters and this is on the synthesizer and spare and stereo Clark Gates here kit stereo snare and I'll punch that in and then um, rack floor floor snare 2 roto toms kettle drum and all the rest of the stuff and the recording machine for to uh, SD card. Here I do something a little different with subs. I've got my left and right sub EQ up here, and then I also carry a crossover so I can high pass, I can low pass the subs um, manually very easily. I can cross them over at 83 or 60. This is on a divided by 10, so I have a control over the um, filtering on that. And then sub compressor left, sub compressor right. Uh, sub processor, which I'm not using yet because I can't get it working quite right, but I did use it in the past. It's, I'll talk about that some other time. Sub synthesizer. And then auxiliary system left and right. And uh, this replaces the uh, CP10 Meyer that's up here uh, for outfills or center fills or auxiliary systems when we do the bigger shows. Cool. This is my amp that drives my super wedges. Um, I've got a pair of those quad amp super wedges in front of the house. There's listening monitors. They'll be down on the floor here. Um, for the B rig, we've got a couple micro wedge 10s powered off of a PowerSoft K2. This is a PowerSoft X8. It's a new addition. Uh, Clearcom, I just power supplies. And the console. And so right now, what I'm doing is we're doing rehearsals and I'm trying to match these two consoles up and get everything um, the same and sounding good. All right, that's it.